Hey, this is Dion, Code Pioneers. In this video, I'll be showing you the difference between a div and a span. And, you know, I thought this was a good uh, topic to cover because when you're first starting to learn how to code, uh, you're kind of introduced to this div, span, world, and block, and inline, and inline block. And all of these concepts are just thrown at you, but I don't know, it seems like there's never really a clear answer on what, is, what does all this stuff mean? And you're kind of left on your own to just kind of figure out uh, what's the difference between a div and a span as you go. So we'll be covering the specific differences in this video here. So I'm here in uh, brackets, um, text editor here. And let's go ahead and, and just make us a little div here. Whoops, there we go. And let's open up uh, the little preview or the little browser window there so we can see what we're going we're gonna do. And I'm gonna grab some lorem ipsum text from lorumipsum.io and paste it there. And you could see here, um, we've got our, our text here in the div element. So now, what I'm going to do is, first of all, let's show you exactly what a span can do. And what I'll do is I'm going to put this little phrase here, <laughs> Delore Magna, and I'm going to put that inside of a span. So let's find that there over here. Uh, all right, there we go. So let's put that in a span. All right, and let's grab it, copy, paste, and it's in the span now, <laughs> but absolutely nothing happened, right? Um, which is good, and that's what spans are good for. Um, when you're talking about div and span, what you're really uh, talking about is the space that's around the element. And so, as you can see, the space around this span here didn't change. But if I was to add uh, some color to this, so let's go uh, style equals uh, color red. Now we can see that the span is able to target this. And so the easy answer to the difference between a div and a span is a div is a block element and a span is an inline element. And so let's inspect this and I'll show you what we're talking about here. If I inspect this div here, you'll see, and let me move this up. If I can grab this, let's move that up here. So you can see the browser right here. Um, it's saying that the div display is set to block. Now, if I was to inspect the span, um, the span is an inline, but you'll see the browser on Chrome Developer Tools doesn't show that it's inline even though it is. So let's actually, I'm gonna copy this little address and I'm gonna open this up in Firefox. And in Firefox, if I inspect it, Firefox developer tools just, I don't know, it has some, it has some better features than Chrome uh, a lot of times. So, all right, let's move this up. And in Firefox, you'll see the display for the div is set to block. And if we come inside of the div and go to span, the display is inline. So, what is the difference between block and inline? Um, well, block level element will take up the entire width of the content in, in that element. So let's see what we're talking about here. I'm gonna copy this and let me, let me put like a little horizontal ruler line there to separate this. 
And here, let's put, let's put a couple break tags here, just so there's some space separating this. And a break tag there. All right, so there's our break, the horizontal rule, and this here. Now, if we were to change the div uh, to a span, you'll see that nothing happens, right? But if we were to change this span to a div, this will turn into a block level element right here. And it will take up the entire width of this container. And you'll see um, what happens there. So you see how a, a block level element does not allow anything else to share the same line with it. So up here you have a div with the span in the between it. And down here you have a span with the div in between it. But as you can see, the div does not allow you to have anything else sharing that space. All right, so now here's another interesting thing though when it comes to divs and spans, and in particular, an inline element, because a span is an inline element, which means what? So let's go up here and I'm going to put some space around this because that's really what we're talking about when we're talking about uh, block inline and inline block elements. It's really about the spacing around it. So if I was to try to add some padding around this, so let's say padding and when you add padding or a margin, um, it, the, the way you write it out, it goes clockwise. So I'm gonna put it uh, 20, 20 pixels at the top, and I'm gonna put it at 100 pixels <laughs> to the right, because as I keep going, it's gonna go clockwise. I'm gonna put this at 40 pixels, to the bottom and then 10 pixels to the left of it. So that's the clockwise. But now, as you can see here, it's only recognizing the 100 pixels on the right and the 10 pixels on the left. An inline element does not recognize any spacing on the top or the bottom of it. And so that's the main difference there between uh, inline, inline block and a block element. Um, now, if this was set to inline block, it will work like this, but it will actually recognize the top and the bottom. And I'll show that as, w as well. If I come here and I set this display, to inline block. Now you'll see that it recognizes the space, uh, the space above it, which I set to 20 pixels, the space to the right, which I set to 100 pixels, the space on the bottom, which I set to 40 pixels, and the space on the left, which I set to 10 pixels. So remember, it starts at the top and goes clockwise. Top, right, bottom, left. So if I want to change the bottom, I could set that to 50 pixels. And now it will recognize that. But if I, if, if this is just set to inline, like it normally is by default, uh, then it doesn't recognize the top and the bottom. So that's, that's the difference between inline and inline block. And so the browser by default sets um, 
elements to either block or inline. It doesn't set elements to inline block. So you would have to set that um, in CSS or styling like this here. So what is the practical use of this or where would you where would you see this at uh, as far as using span elements? Well, let's go back up here. And let's just pretend like this is the header. And here I'll make it uh I'll do this. You'll see something like home, right? <laughs> About uh contact uh block, right? Let's pretend that's <laughs> just pretend this is a bootleg header here. <laughs> and and it didn't give me anything here because I didn't make an element. Uh, so let me let me do this just to make some space above and below this. I'm going to put this inside of a, a paragraph tag. All right. And just a little note, paragraphs are block elements. So here you see this is how your header would look. But where would a span be really used on a website if you're not doing something you know, strange like this where you're coloring the text in the middle of something. Well, sometimes on like above or below a menu, you'll see something like hours, right? So you could, you, you probably would see something like this span and hours. And it, what hours are going to be like, what, 9 a.m. to 5 to 5 p.m. And then you might see another span like right next to it. So, and that span will be what? Uh, let's say phone number, right? And you can make it five, 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 <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, you see how that starts to, you know, make sense like why you would use a span instead of a div? If you wanted this to span across the top of, of the site above the main nav. And so if you were to use divs here instead of spans, it would go to separate lines, which you don't want. You want it to span across the top of this here. So there you have it. Div, span, inline, inline block, block level elements, is all about the spacing around it and what you're trying to accomplish on the web page itself. So if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.